up guys, it's Dave. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video on my uh, my setup on my HHO project here. Um, I have a 2005 Ford Expedition, Eddie Bauer edition, 5.4 V8. Um, my normal gas mileage is about 11 city and about 16 highway. Um, right now, with this project that I installed um, I got I'm getting about about 18 city um, and anywhere from 28 to 34 miles per gallon highway um, I'm taking a trip to New York tomorrow so um, it should be a lot more accurate um, when I get when I get on the road so um, just want to show you guys what uh, what I'm doing here um, let me just grab the make this a little bit lighter okay so basically what I have here is my engine so basically what it starts off with it starts with this reservoir right here okay you have the um, electrolyte solution which consists of distilled water and potassium hydroxide which is basically used for uh, making soap and other other things um, so it goes down to the bottom here and it goes into my hydrogen dry cell which is let me grab the cowl in here it's here as you can see I don't know if you can see it but let's do it this way it's kind of hard to see but um, there's a dry cell right on, right in here uh, it consists of uh, 27 plates if I can make this a little, a little brighter here for you. There you go. Now you can see. Um, it's a 27 plate dry cell um, that uh, is consists of uh, a formulation of negative plates and positive plates. Um, I have two. I have two negatives and one positive hooked up here. Um, so it goes to the bottom. Which you can't really see well I might be able to see here uh, see right there in the bottom there uh, that's the input and then it outputs to the top there which in turn goes to back goes to the top here um, which it produces gas and output uh, outputs here back into the reservoir and it serves two purposes one is the reservoir two uh, any residual drippings from the gas fall into here uh, then go into then go into my what they call a dryer which is a dryer scrubber um, and any additional moisture from the gas um, is filtered with a special filter in there and then outputs to my air box it's okay my air box here um, just to show you how it warmed up drop the water a little bit I want to show you here I have a cup of water I'm gonna take the uh, hose off the hose here Let's see that but that is that is hydrogen gas I haven't done a displacement test yet so I think it's better um, that is what's being injected into my throttle body and it's basically um, the hydrogen burns a lot faster, a lot quicker, and more efficient than the fuel, the fossil fuels. Um, you know, creating, uh, you know, creating energy uh, without the carbon, which is pretty cool. Um, the electrical setup I have starts with the battery. Okay, I have a positive that goes over to a relay here. Let me show you. It goes to, a, uh, I'm sorry, it goes to a 40 amp fuse into a, a relay. And the relay goes to my little service switch here and I have a service switch here because 
uh, anytime I need to get, uh, which I won't do, uh, get service, um, I'll turn it off so this way that the people don't leave the key on because this is this is this is uh, this whole setup is run off of ignition. Um, so as soon as I turn the key on, the hydrogen cell turns on, and starts producing hydrogen, um, and so it goes into the switch here, back into the relay, uh, into. Here into a pulse width modulator. Let me turn this radio down. I have a pulse width pulse width modulator, which basically uh, I can control the the amp draw uh, of the electrolyte, uh, and also gives me um, a frequency, so I can change the frequency of the uh, of the uh, the cell to to, to produce a hotspot of electrolysis, if you will. Um, and, uh, this goes into here, well actually it goes into my amp meter first, um, which I have here, that I have fabricated. So as you can see I'm running about about 28 amps, which is which is um, pretty pretty good for, for uh, it's the standard for electrolysis. Um, and then the, the 500 hertz. Um, the 10.8 volts, I don't know why it does that, um, I actually tested these leads here and I'm getting about 12, 12 and a half, 13 volts, so I don't know what the deal is with this voltmeter. It could be faulty. Um, and then as you can see here, I have uh, electronic uh, fuel chip here. And basically what, th what that does is, let me see if I can get this uh, so you can see there. Um, I have that connected to my ODB2 uh, port. Um, and that, once you reset it, it overrides the uh, the stock uh, firmware that's on the PC. You can see it there. It's uh, it's communicating with my my computer. Um, so I mean, you know, it's it was a, it was a pretty large project, um, fairly expensive project, but uh, so far it's it's been proving to be good. And hopefully, when I go to New York tomorrow, um, I can do official tests uh, on the highway because it's about a, a nine-hour drive. So. Uh, it's a 28 gallon tank, um, so if I can get at least, I hope at least 28 miles per gallon, um, I can get about 700 miles to the tank, which I mean is really good. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's my, uh, that is my project. Check it out. Um, just look into it if you want to Google it. It's the uh, HHO dry cell kit. Um, I don't know what else to say, but that's it.